Kelly said, your tour is going to be bringing joy across the United States during a polarizing time. Has it crossed your mind that you will be touring during the election? And if so, what are your thoughts on that? I haven't even given that a thought, to be honest with you. I mean, I am, I'm not one of those guys, you know, you hear some artists talk about fear of being canceled. I could give a shit less if somebody tried to cancel. I'm, I'm uncancelable, you know, because <laughs> I just don't care. I don't care, you know, and as long as I got a fan base that's supporting us, you know, and I'm able to, the joy you were talking about, you know, if I can do that, then I'm, I'm succeeding. And that's really all I'm trying to do. You know, you can't be all things for all people. You know, the only thing I can do is just be the best version of me that I can be. You know, so as far as, you know, what may or may not go on politically, you know, unless they start knocking on our door again with some new version of PMRC, right. which is very important because, you know, what you see now going on is just it's just a reincarnation of what we went through in the 80s. And I'm talking about Elon Musk with with Twitter and X and even Zuckerberg last week coming out saying that they voluntarily censored information. I mean, that's the cornerstone of our of the our Western hemisphere, you know, certainly the northern portion anyway. You know, and unless we have that free speech, we have nothing. And I can't emphasize that enough. You know, in any organization that would try to suppress that speech, uh, that's not something that I want to participate in. And it's important that people really understand that if they ever come up against that, they have to be really vigil to protect it, protect that right. Because if you don't stand up for it, you don't protect it, I guarantee you it will be taken from you. Because the the world as we know it has always been filled with bullies. And unless you're willing to stand up for your right, bullies will push you and push you because they never expect pushback. Hmm. But if people will do that, then you'll have that free society and you'll be able to say what you want. But in that sense, what's going on right now is certainly every bit as dangerous as it was back in the 80s. Right. And just like you guys stood up and you guys went to the hearings, right? This is maybe a similar scenario. I see it really. It's the, it's a different wolf and different sheep's clothing, but the, the end result is the same. You know, if it looks like fascism and smells like it, it's fascism. People throw that word around a lot. Like, you know, they want to compare somebody to Hitler that gets overused. And yes, I would agree that that is an overused term. But when I'm using the word here about fascism, I am not overusing it. There is no way I could over exaggerate it. The importance of what I'm saying now. Absolutely. I mean, do, do you find that, you know, it's because you, you have a way of discussing these things that is not polarizing and not divisive. Uh, do you find that, you know, it, it's hard as an artist to even speak your mind at all on these topics without sort of drawing a line in the sand, so to speak? Well, if you want to draw a line in the sand, then you will be polarizing. I spent my career trying to get people to think for themselves. So if I'm going to try to dictate to somebody how to think, then I'm being not just hypocritical. I'm undoing everything I work towards. You know, but if you think for yourself, and I mean really get in there and do your homework, I am confident enough that people will come to the, to the right conclusion if they do their homework and if they think for themselves, if you're willing to be sheep and you're willing to be led around by the nose, by what the media tells you, you're cruising for a bruising, buddy. You're, you're going to be, <laughs> you're in for a world of hurt. But if you do your due diligence and you think for yourself, you know, don't listen to what just one person says, listen to three or four different opinions. And it will eventually start to point you in a direction where the truth is. So if I can do that and I can get people to think that I'm, I'm being successful in that sense. 